So closer to home, we're starting off dry, but we have increasing chances for showers and storms as we go through the afternoon and evening. Now there's no flood watch up. There's no risk for severe weather today, so we've certainly seen busier days so far this summer. But a couple of downpours could be capable of putting down a quick half inch to one inch of rain. But you can see most towns stay under a half inch for the expected rainfall all the way through this evening. Now, most of this moisture is still off to our west. I think most of it misses to the south as well. You can just sort of make it out with your eyes that most of it's heading for the mid-Atlantic and southern New England. There are some flood watches there. They could see several inches of rain today, but because we're on the northern fringe of things, it's only an isolated to scattered storm chance as we think about the afternoon. So we're starting off in the 50s and 60s. Very comfortable out the door, but the showers and storms are with us as early as 2 o'clock in the North Country. Now, we're still dry in Vermont by that point, but I think in the evening time, mainly 5, 6 p.m. onward, these showers and storms try to form into a broken line, and that will sweep across Vermont in the evening and first part of the overnight. Again, there could be some areas of heavy rain, but we're not expecting any strong wind gusts or significant hail from the storms today. Tomorrow looks like a really nice day. Plenty of sun in the afternoon, no rain in the forecast, highs in the 70s, and then we're back to clouds on Saturday with increasing chances for showers and storms way late in the day. So we'll call it a mostly dry start to the weekend. It's not until Sunday that the shower and storm chance becomes more widespread. So that looks like the wetter of the two weekend days. And you'll see the humidity trend basically mirrors this thought process. The humidity goes up late Saturday. And then as we look past Sunday, crashes down with a drier weather in the forecast early next week. Temperatures will stay in the 70s and 80s. No big heat waves in the forecast, but a few more rain chances as we look towards next week. Back to you.